Hey, I'm here. I'm live. I'm, um, hello, David. Welcome. You're the first. Hello, Oz. Did, did I say that right? Yeah, it's Oz. I, um, I've only got my contacts half in. Hi. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Hello, Bill. Good to see you. Proto code. I like that. Hello, Sebastian. Hi. Um, great to see everybody. Love Hext. Perfect on Valentine's. Hey. Oh, hi. Mine's life. Um, if any of you, if any of you saw a previous reel where I had a sparkly My Valentine pop, that's from Mize Life. Hello. Good to see you here. Punished Raven. Very nice. Tiger Wolf Phantom. Good to see you. Tabby. Hey, gorgeous. Back at you. Um, love, I'm loving seeing you all. I'm so excited. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Sorry I'm a little late. I couldn't find my phone. Very typical. And it was in my back pocket. Um, so I'm here for you guys. Happy to answer any questions. And hello, Shizune. Hello, Junebug. Um, can you please say Booyaksha in Apache voice? Oh, yeah, uh, she says that. Uh, Booyaksha! That's not the right word, but Apache's really tough! Yeah, I was, uh... I will di do Diane in a, in a second. Um, uh, when I finally got booked on Bleach 10,000 Year Blood War, I was like, oh, thank goodness, Rangiku's coming back. And then they said, uh, it's Apache. And I was like, wow, that's so cool too. And then eventually Rangiku did come back. Yay, I love her so very much. Hi, Megan from Colorado, hello. Um, so Diane from, oh, you know what? I don't know Diane from, from Wishmaker. I have to look up Diane from Jirachi Wishmaker. You know what I know is uh, Wayne Grayson, and I always joke that his only line from that, that movie was, Diane! So that's the voice I'm remembering right now when you say Diane. Diane! Of course, he had a lot more lines than that, but he likes to joke. Um, hi, I met you at Sack Anime. Hello! Well, welcome! Valentine's Day is already here in Tanzania. Wow. Well, happy Valentine's Day, Tanzania, and everyone else for whom it's already Valentine's Day. I have a, um, a, a ring light that holds my iPhone, and it's super old and wobbly. I love your Rangiku and Apache voice. Thank you. That's very kind. Sharona's voice from Shaman King. You guys are killing me. These are so old. I mean, I'm so old, but um, I don't remember off the top of my head. I have to listen to what I've done before in order to do it again. Unless it's something that I do over and over, like um, like Rangiku or uh, Nurse Joy from Pokemon or My Valentine. Those are the ones I get to do over and over. Say this line is Rangigu. So what do you think? Great shots, huh? Um, that's a good one. Oh, I love all the waves. Hi. <laughs> you are welcome. Um, Sharona is your voice. You know, I, I did do Sharona for a while, and then um, someone else took it over. So that's all good. I think a lot of you know that I was at Four Kids for a long time. It was awesome. And um, then I moved from New York to LA uh, at a time just before it was super easy to record people from remote locations. So uh, I effectively left my job. Uh, heartbreak, but a lot of good things happened to me in LA such as a little show I like to call Naruto and Bleach. So I left, uh, I had to leave Shaman King and um, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, but I got to work on Naruto and Bleach and other amazing shows. Oh, you think I did get to complete Sharona? Happy birthday, Sly the J. Um, well, that is something. I think, actually, Lisa Ortiz 
completed that role, but I might be wrong because I am wrong about a lot of things, including um, someone, someone, a, a dealer came up to me and said, would you sign this Dragonite pop? And I was like, I have no reason to sign a Dragonite pop, but you know, if you want it, that's great. And he was like, well, you played Claire in Pokemon and put, and Claire had a Dragonite. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And so I had to go back and look it up and watch some old shows. And I was like, Oh my gosh, that's completely me. How did I a hundred percent percent forget this amazing character and this amazing arc? So yeah, so I forgot that. Same with Mr. Mime, although I did that a long time ago. Um, I mean, I remembered a while ago, uh, I had played Stella, uh, Mr. Mime's trainer, and I knew I played Stella, but I forgot she had a connection with Mr. Mime. <laughs> it was 25 years ago. Um, but, but yeah, it's all good. I met Tara Sands at uh, a Taku Fest one month ago. Isn't that awesome? Yes, it is. Tara Sands is a dear, dear friend of mine from back in the day. I forget how Tara and I actually got to be friends. Um, just hanging out after work, I think. And uh, we just we just liked each other. And then when I moved to LA, she was already in LA. And I, I said, um, I knew you in New York and now you are my friend. Uh, and she agreed. I remember Mimey's debut episode. Yes. Well, I just rewatched it and um, couldn't figure out why it was called Mr. Mimey. I thought maybe it was a typo, but uh, it was because I was informed Ash's mother called her Mr. Mime, Mr. Mimey. And I believe, I'm pretty sure Michael Hagney did the voice of Mr. Mime, but I could be 100% wrong about that. You'll find this funny, but in 2019, I met Tara Sands and Disney legend Linda Larkin. They met each other in New York. Super cool. Amy Valentine. Well, hello. Good to see you here. Uh, send a request to be live in your video. I'm not going to have people be live in the video, but thank you. Can you do Roxanne Ritchie from Megamind? You know, um, I don't have a reporter line off the top of my head, but... Roxanne Ritchie was my best attempt at a Tina Fey voice. And the line that I would go back to over and over in my head, the line that I worked on to keep it Tina in the Tina Fey world was um, from Baby Mama, where she says to Amy Poehler, did you just stick your gum under my coffee table? So I, um, as I was recording it, I said that a billion times. Any Canadian conventions this year? Oh, you awesome lady. Thank you. No, uh, not yet. But I, uh, I um, asked Toronto. I was like, can I come to your convention? And they were like, no. So uh, not this year anyway. Maybe next year if you guys want me to come to, if there's any con near you, you want me to come to, the best thing to do is ask the con. Um, make a request. Because... Um, I ask all the time. I'm always like, hi, can I please come to your con? I'm a, I'm like Lucy asking Ricky, can I please be in the show constantly? What was your favorite part of playing my, oh, ev oh, everything. I mean, she is so sassy and she's like iconic in terms of being a, t a, a woman in a world of men. I mean, literally in that show, she, she takes on all the boys and I'm so proud to have taken on that role and have been an icon for, I mean, she's an icon. I was a part of that for a lot of women and a lot of gay and trans men, I'm sorry, trans women and gay men who have come up to me and, and talked about how much she meant to them. And that's just humbling. That's just humbling to have been a part of it. But specifically, I love her attitude. I love her clothes. I love that she's so sexy. Um, I love that she got to be sassier than I can be in real life. So that's just a treat. She could say things that I would never say that made me laugh. Uh, join the Florida Supercon in June so I can meet you in person. I am coming to Florida. Yes, I would love to join the Florida Supercon. Tell them, say, uh, bring her. And I am going to be in 
Orlando in early March. So at Collectors United, I think they just announced me. Um, I think it's cool that I'm announcing it because it's really coming right up. Um, March 3rd and 4th at in Kissimmee. Um, Collectors United, it's a brand new con. We could use everybody's support. And I'm going to be there with my Yu-Gi-Oh peeps, um, Tara Sands, Greg Abbey, um, uh, Wayne Grayson, Joey, um, who else? Uh, Mark Thompson, and I forget who. So, um, and Eric Stewart and Dan Green are going to be at Collecticon the weekend before. So... You have a chance to meet like everybody um, within a, a week period. Um, and Erica Schroeder. So Dan Green, Erica Schroeder, and Eric Stewart are going to be at Collecticon in Florida. And the following week, the rest of us. <laughs> Wayne Grayson, Megan Holling said, Tara Sands, uh, Ted Lewis, Gregory Abbey, and Mark Thompson. Amazing. It's going to be so freaking awesome. Not Lisa Ortiz. Thank you for reminding me that Lisa is missing, but hopefully she will be with um, this group of people sometime soon. <laughs> uh, Rangiku saying, oh my, in George Takei Im impression. Oh my. It's amazing how close she is, huh? Megan, Amy, and Tara are my favorite voice actresses. What a great group. Honestly, at this point, there should be a Yu-Gi-Oh con, LOL. Right, Jen? I'm, I'm telling you, and you should be there. Um, I think, you know, the they're trying to do the, the TCG, the, um, the card game tournaments. They're trying to get more of us to appear at those, and I am all in. People from taxes and Canadian, Texas and, and Canada. I've met some of the Texans. What a fun group. Um, brilliant people. They do brilliant work. I haven't met too many Canadians. I mean, I've met Canadians, but not the Canadian uh, voice actors. Remember you saying Nurse Joy would take Score Bunny Mad Tea Party Alice in Wonderland is, Ver is Veronica's favorite movie. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that. For Disney movies, um, I there's so many that I love. Um, I even met Disney legend Catherine Beaumont from Veronica Taylor's favorite 1951 movie. I love it. Funny Ultimate Muscle Accent. Wow. Um, yes. The Funny Ultimate Muscle Accent. Yeah, Yega. Go, Yega. Get him. Oh, yeah. Don't let him up, Yega. So, um, I was, when, when all of us were working at Four Kids, we were pulled in to do different voices on different shows, often without warning. And I was asked to do a female Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, you know, as an actor, as anyone who studied improv, you just say yes. Um, I don't know how I got it because I don't know how I nailed the accent because... I had never tried it before. I think I probably listened to whoever played the male part because I just had to get it in my head really fast, but it was so much fun. Also, any character who yells the whole time, it, it would be terrible if that character like did a whole series. It would be so boring, but it's really fun to play. It's really fun to go in the booth and yell the whole time. So, Also, Ultimate Muscle was so silly. I loved that show. I, uh, a lot of people found it really stupid. D could I say it was it was kind of stupid? I thought it was really funny. Uh, do you remember the episode Dual Identity where Mai was first dueling Yugi? Of course. I mean, I remember, I, I didn't know it was called Dual Identity, but I do remember Mai dueling Yugi. I don't know if this was the first one, but I, I um, one of the lines that comes back to me is, the only reason I duel... Aside from the island trips, the cars, the clothes, the prize money, is the thrill of trouncing a worthy opponent. I think Yugi was trying to, like, ease up on my... Maybe I'm mixing it up. Anyway, anywho, 
You've done so much for me personally, and you've had nothing but kind and respectful. Well, that is very sweet. Thank you, Derek. Um, Wayne Grayson's coming to Comic-Con in Virginia. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Uh, that's awesome. Yes, he is one of the funniest people I know. No, I've not met Patrick Warburton. He's amazing. I love him in uh, Lemony Snicket, that show. He's so good. And he's hilarious in everything he does. Who's your favorite Pokemon? Selfishly, I love Morpeko in Journeys, because that's who I play. Morpeko, Morpeko. Um, but I'm also a huge fan of Psyduck, because we both get migraines. And... There's a, there's a new one that I've fallen in love with. Can't remember. You have to get back to me on that. Have you ever met the voices of Mario and Luigi? Yes. Um, I met, um, and it doesn't sound like I really met them because I've forgotten their names. Charles Martinet um, at, uh, at another convention. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm as, as lucky as anybody to go to these conventions and get to meet people. It's just so cool. Hello, Adam. It's good to good to see your name. Good to see you here. My favorite Pokemon is either Squirtle or Pikachu. Though, yes, absolutely. Those two are great. Oh my gosh, you met Wayne, Greg, and Mark at New York Comic Con. I really want to go to New York Comic Con. Gosh darn it! Um, uh, so many of my friends got to go, and I I love New York. I miss New York, and um, I don't want to go. And Sean Shemmel. Oh my gosh, that guy's a trip. Do you have any Pokemon plushies? I only have more Peko, and I think my daughter stole it. Um, Pikachu, hands down. I mean, come on. I, I almost feel.